What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I thought we'd do something a little bit different. Let's talk boxing. For any boxing fans out there, let's discuss the big fight tonight. Tyson Fury, Dillian White is going off it. 10 o'clock is obviously the main fight. It starts at six o'clock. Really, really excited. Like I am a big boxing fan. I've tuned into most of Tyson Fury's fights. I've tuned into Dillian White's fights and massive AJ fan. I just thought, you know what? This is stuff I wish I could have done on LLF. I mean, what's gonna happen? Tyson Fury undefeated. The guy's an absolute giant. His boxing ability is on another level against Dillian White. He's rough, rugged. He's front ends, Brixton. He's been stabbed, shot. He's lost twice. He lost to uh, Anthony Joshua. He lost to Bavetkin. The guy is a constant working project. You know, he's just getting better and better and better. It's gonna be a very, very difficult fight for Dillian. And I think if there's anyone to give Tyson Fury a problem, it will be Dillian. He give Joshua a problem. He actually beat AJ back in the day. And yeah, I think he's going to pose big problems. There's a lot of neutral respect. Obviously, initially, Dillian White weren't speaking. There was no sort of promotion. I mean, look, if I was to put money on it, I would probably go with uh, Dillian winning by knockout. You know, they call him the body snatcher. He's got a deadly left hook. It's like I'm a fan of both of them, but I would probably probably prefer for Dillian to win just to change things in the heavyweight division it would be exciting right uh, if I was to put someone's life on it like a family member like I would probably go with Fury he's undefeated uh, he's never lost obviously you know all of these fighters have controversial fights where we believe they shouldn't have won but technically record wise he's never lost he's had a trilogy with Deontay Wilder the hardest hitting heavyweight probably ever in the sport of boxing uh, he's taken him on the chin from him. He's been laid out cold and he's still risen basically from the dead. The guy uh, is no joke, Tyson Fury. His boxing ability is another level. You know, they call him the Gypsy King. There's obviously no denying that uh, Fury's ability is his boxing IQ. It's not his power if you look at his knockout ratio. But, you know, he's training this new Kronk style with Sugar Hill. If you see what he did to Deontay Wilder, travelled straight towards him, pull it on him all night. So it's going to be interesting. Is he going to try that with Dillon? Is he going to try and pull it on him? You know, this is where it would be risky for him. I think Fury's coming a stone lighter. So under the assumption he's planning to box Dillian White. And remember, they got history as well. Like they trained for months. They're going to have a little bit of an idea of, of what they're like in the ring. So I think Fury knows that he's in for a tough night. Uh, anything can happen. It's heavyweight boxing. You know, all it takes is one punch and everything can change. But yeah, I'm excited, man. I'm very, very excited. Uh, definitely tune in 10 o'clock tonight for those that don't know. One thing I do want to say is a lot of neutral respect right these men are like proper sort of in my opinion yeah it might be a bit controversial some people are like what are you want about ricky i think that the respect that fury showing is um where dillian is coming very heavy-handed he's come with a lot of security it looks like he's come with all the man them like 50 man deep remember they're in wembley so dillian white is in a local area to him for fury obviously it's uk but you know he's away from home do you know what i mean uh, I think Dillian's coming with his brother uh, Dean. It's not his. I don't think it's his blood brother, but he's come with a with a with a security. Do you know what I mean? And I think that the Fury camp might be slightly intimidated. I reckon there's been some kind of talk off camera um, where where I just can't. I'm trying to work out why there's such a nice vibe going. I know that they respect each other. They've spent time with each other, but that's what I personally think. If you look at uh, Fury's dad as well. Uh, John Fury, you can see that he's just annoyed because you know him, he's a crazy motherfucker. That guy's been jailed, he's gouged man's eyeballs out. He don't care, he's a real one. Maybe not fighting ability, but mentality wise, he's a man that will just ride it. Do you know what I mean? And he's the only one that's sort of been showing a bit of aggression. And I think the aggression that John Fury's showing is you can't intimidate me. Don't think because you've got 50 man and we're in Wembley and London, Tottenham, whatever, that you're going to scare me. That's the kind of, you see Fury, he's like, no, no, be that, calm that. So, yeah, that's the angle I think. I think off camera there's been conversations and, um, you know, Dillian's just letting man know, yo, if you want to try a thing, try a thing in it, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, that's what I personally think. You guys just watch the videos. You don't sort of see what's going on behind the scenes. So yeah, that's my little two pence on the Dillian White and Tyson Fury fight. I have spoken to Dillian a few times on social media. He's a big car fan. Uh, he was talking about building like a thousand horsepower RS6 once. We were just chatting away. It's crazy because when he first came on the scene, I wasn't a huge, huge fan. I'm not going to lie to you. Like his style, how aggressive and like, he was just very foul mouthed. Do you know what I mean? Uh, but over time, you know, people grow on you and, and, and it's like now, it's like you realise um, Dillian White, he's got a lot of support, man. People, like, it's weird, isn't it, how the world works? You see someone being bad mind, talking foul and being in a certain way, not being professional, then all of a sudden, when you see that same individual change their ways and grow up and 
have discipline you sort of like you know what i fucking love this motherfucker like he's one of them ones so fury's the same as well like he's very controversial he always contradicts himself and so i'm gonna end the video there as always if you enjoyed it hit the thumbs up subscribe if you're new and uh, if you like this style of video let me know i could do some more i think i will do a reaction to the highlights of this fight after it's all said and done uh, but yeah comment down below who you think is gonna win do you reckon tyson fury is gonna box his head off for 12 rounds or do you think dylan's gonna win by a knockout comment right now your thoughts and as always i see you soon Can't slow me down like speed hum. No. keep up when i speed up See your future, that's my past yeah. See the smoke when I drive past yeah. Fast lane, living life fast See your girl, she's in my car mm. Oh well, that's your girl in my hotel That's five stars yeah. Make the rules yeah. disappear